Hi guys, welcome to our channel. Have you ever checked the privacy settings on WhatsApp? An unknown person added you into a WhatsApp group without your permission. Did someone ask you that you were online on WhatsApp till this time? A lot of questions. But the answer is very simple. You didn't check your privacy settings on WhatsApp. We don't want to be transparent front of others about our privacy. WhatsApp has introduced new features to keep our privacy. Let's go through new privacy settings on WhatsApp. Before we proceed, please like and subscribe our channel. Click on bell icon and select all for timely updates. The first step, you need to update your WhatsApp from Play Store or App Store. Go to the Play Store and type WhatsApp. It will show the update if the latest update is available. Just click on update and wait until it's done. The new interesting features of the WhatsApp is giving you an option to decide that who can add you into a WhatsApp group. Now your WhatsApp has been updated to the latest version. Click open. Click on the three dots in the upper right corner of the screen and click on settings. On the setting page, click the account button, then press the privacy button. You can see a lot of options on the privacy page. The first option is the last scene. What is meant by the last scene in the WhatsApp? Last scene is an option to show someone till what time you had been available on WhatsApp. You can see three options by clicking on last scene button. Once you select the first option, someone who is not in your contact list can see how long you have been online on WhatsApp. The second option is my contacts. So people with your contact list can see how long you have been on WhatsApp. The third option is nobody. Once you select this option, no one can see how long you have been online, but they can see your status when you are online. Let us see how this works. I have selected the first option. This is how someone can check on their mobile and see how long you have been active on WhatsApp. Here you can see the recipient which I selected was active on WhatsApp till 9 p.m. Okay, now I have selected nobody. Then we can go to the recipient page. We can see the recipient status was online, but we can't see till what time the recipient was online. Profile photo is the second option on the privacy page. When you tap on the profile photo, you can see three options. The first option is to select everyone. If you choose this option, anybody can see your WhatsApp profile photo. The second option is to choose my contacts. So that people on your contact list can see your profile photo. And the third and final option is nobody. If you select this option, no one can see your profile photo on WhatsApp. About is the third option on the privacy page. Once you have selected, you will see three options. First option, everyone. Second option is my contacts. And third one is nobody. If the first option is selected, everyone can see your details like this. If the second option is selected, the people on the contact list can see similar details. If you select nobody, your screen will be displayed to the recipient like this without your information. Status is the fourth option on the privacy page. Once you have clicked the status, you will see three options. First option is my contact. Recipient from your contact list can see whatever you have updated as your status. The second option, my contact accept, which means you can hide your status from one or more people from your contact list. Third option, allow you to share your status with one or more people. Technically, second and third option almost same, but less time consuming to select people from your contact list according to your needs. Read receipt is the fifth option on the privacy page. There is only option to turn on or off the read receipt. Let's see what happens once read receipt turns off. These two tick marks are the confirmation that the message I sent was delivered there. But 
I cannot see whether the message I sent was read by recipient since I turned off read receipt in my mobile. Similarly, they may not understand that you have read what they sent you. Now I have turned on the read receipt option. Let me send a message as before. Here we can see two gray shaded tick mark. Now it has changed into blue color, which means the message which I sent read by the recipient. Once the read receipt option is turned off, you will not be able to understand that the message you sent is read by recipient. Also, they may not understand that you read the message sent by them. Group is a new feature on WhatsApp. Previously, anyone could add us to any group without our permission. Once we click on the group, we can see three options. The first option is anyone. If you choose this option, anyone can add you into a group without your permission. The second option is my contact. Once this is selected, someone on your contact list can add you into any group without your permission. The third option is my contact accept, which means you can select one or more people. Otherwise, you can select all people from your contact list. If anyone from that list want to create a group, they have to send a private invitation. Once you accept that invitation, they can add you into that group. Live location is the seventh option on the privacy page. What does it use or how does it work? Click on live location. Here you can see you are not sharing live location with any chats. How you can send your live location? Select a contact. Click on attachment button, select location and tap on share live location. You can select time limit of live location. It could be 15 minutes, 1 hour or 8 hours. Once you share live location with someone, the person can track you for as long as you have shared. If you need to make a live location stop before the time you share, you need to do it manually. Here you can see I have shared my live location for 8 hours. If I want to stop it before 8 hours, I have to simply click on stop sharing. That's it. Look at my status now. I'm not sharing a live location with anyone. Blocked contact is the 8th option on the privacy page. If you add someone's contact details in the blocked contact option, all incoming and outgoing WhatsApp calls and messages will be stopped with that person until you unblock. Once unblocked, the status will look like this. Fingerprint lock is the last option on the WhatsApp privacy page. It varies depending on each mobile. Some phones use face unlock while some have an option for both. When the fingerprint lock option is turned on, you will see a message to confirm your fingerprint. Then. Touch your finger on your mobile fingerprint scanner. Now we can see three options. This is an option to decide how long you want to go back and lock if you haven't used WhatsApp after unlock. If you choose immediately, it will lock within one minute. Two more options are also available. Lock after one minute and the another option after 30 minutes. Another option is to show content in notification. Once this is turned on, you can read the WhatsApp incoming message without unlocking the WhatsApp. Even if your mobile is locked or unlocked, it doesn't matter. Here you can see the WhatsApp is still locked. Now I am going to unlock the WhatsApp. Here you can see previously read messages without unlock the WhatsApp. Now I am going to turn off show content in notification if this option is turned off you will not be able to read messages without unlocking the whatsapp except it will show you the notification about how many messages have been received whether your device is locked or unlocked you can read these messages once you unlock the whatsapp are you confused about all these privacy settings Let's find out which are useful for you. We choose my contacts because people on your contact list can understand when you were online. If they have to inform you any messages, they can leave it on WhatsApp. 
if it's not urgent because they know the status of your online presence. Profile photo we choose everyone because when someone else add you, they can understand that they are adding a right person. About we choose my contacts because we don't like to share our details with unknown person. Status we choose my contacts. We think there is no major problem by sharing our WhatsApp status with our contact list. And it can use to inform all people in your contact list about something. Read receipt we turn on because we need to know the message we send read by recipient. In the group option we have selected my contact accept. After choose this select all your contacts. If you do this no one can add you into another group without your permission. Look at this and make sure you don't share your live location with someone else. If you don't want to block anybody else just unblock the contacts. We choose to turn on the fingerprint or face lock option because it's a good privacy features of WhatsApp. The next option we have selected immediately because if WhatsApp not used for one minute it will quickly become locked. But you must turn off show content in notification. If it's not turned off the incoming WhatsApp message on your mobile device can be read by someone else even if it's locked.